right, so now we're on to the second step. I put two coats of paint on here, and I'm gonna be doing a lot of embellishing on the legs and so with gilding waxes and so forth, but I need to uh, pr put a protective coat on here. You've got two options. You can either use our, any one of three different top coats, uh, satin clear gloss, most people like satin, or you can, like me, I'm going to use on this, can use wax. And, you're, uh, you're, and I'm gonna be using several different waxes on this, but I first gotta get the first coat of clear wax down because that's gonna be my base coat. A lot of people are uh, intimidated by wax. Now there's tricks to doing wax well though, and one of the tricks is you don't put too much on. Okay, a nice light coat, just working it into the paint. I have a hair, somebody's hair is in there. And just working it gently into the paint. It shouldn't feel like you're gonna slide off. It, you can just nicely feel that it's on there. Okay, and I always work in the direction that I paint it as well. Just putting this on, this is just clear. Now I'm not gonna wax this whole thing. That would be kind of boring for you to watch, but once I get a nice light coat of it on there, then all I'm gonna do is wipe it back. And I like to use terry cloth. You can use finishing pads as well, but I use, and just wiping it back. Now, if you're gonna use dark waxes, it's important you put clear on first, because if you don't, that dark wax is gonna stick and just look dirty. Now that I've got this clear on here, I can put black wax along these edges and so, and so on to highlight the edges if I want. But at any rate, it's just as simple as that. And it does not, it should not feel slippery or it, it feels nice and smooth now. That chalky feeling of the paint is gone and now that wax is on there. And so step two is to wax the entire piece. Then we'll come back and start doing the embellishing parts of the table. I get the wax on and wipe it back I can start doing anything I want to it in fact most of the time if I'm gonna be doing black wax or something like, I do it pretty quick I don't let it wait when I go back I'm gonna do the whole body now but then when I go back to do the embellishing I'll put another quick coat of uh, clear on here just on these parts wipe it back a little bit and then do my black wax or my gold or whatever it is I'm putting on here. And that's just so you can spread it more smoothly? It, it, it's to make sure that black doesn't stick too much. Okay. I don't want it to stick too much. It, uh, it, it, when you, If I put black wax on now a part that I've not waxed, it will stick and you ain't going to do nothing with it. You're stuck with it. Yeah, it'll just be a big spot. Like yep. You it'll be look dirty. So I, especially deep parts like this, and I want to be able to manipulate it, I'll go ahead and quickly put another quick coat on just the area where I'm going to do it. Uh, another thing, it cracks me up. People over underestimate how well this cures on the furniture. I've never had to go back and rewax a, paint, a piece. And, you know, some people say, well, you know, what, what can I use to seal that I can put glasses on it? Nothing. <laughs> Your coasters and placemats still always should be used. You can't even put it on, unless it's got glass on, a piece of glass on top, that's about the only time you can get away with it. So nothing is gonna seal it to protect it permanently against water rings. Yeah, you know. That's right. It's always going to do that. Okay, so now we're gonna put black wax on that. Yes. Embellish that leg. Yes. Where would you put the wax? Just on that? On this part? Right uh, I can put it on any of it and then wipe it back. You want to see it? Should I go ahead and do a little bit of it? Okay. Mm -hmm.
black, let's just say I want to embellish this thing. I don't even, now that I put a good amount of wax on it, I don't even worry about how much is how much I put on. And obviously I'm focusing on this part of it here. Because now the trick is to come back in here and wipe this back. See if I wanted it, don't want as much in there. I can just wipe back the parts I want and then just gently wipe it back for as much black as I want to show. Makes the details pop. Yeah, definitely. And if I wanted, if, if it left too much in a spot where I, I wanted a little less, I can just take a little bit of clear. If I want to just clean that up a little bit around the edges, take the clear and it takes back as much black as I want it to. So then it's all focused. There you go. I could put more on there if I want. And if I even want to embellish it even more and have a little bit grungier look, I could add some Dixie dirt on top of this now and wipe that back as well. But I'm I'm gonna be doing some gilding waxes on top of this, so I'm kind of keeping it pretty clean. There you go.